If you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. Can you name that movie? It's a movie that I grew up with and I just love that quote and it ended up being my reality. The movie is Grease. And I ended up being a person who isn't very athletic and I chose to be a cheerleader. But it turns out, I, I do love to cheer people on, but I wasn't even that great of a cheerleader because what happened is I would get too involved in the game and sometimes I would forget to do the cheer. There was one instance, I remember it was a home football game and I was supposed to be turned towards the crowd and doing a cheer in unison with the whole squad. Instead, I was facing the football game and as the football player was running towards getting a touchdown, I was running along the track right along with him and just cheering and being so excited. And I remember I turned around and I could see my squad all in unison doing a cheer. And I was evidently doing my own little cheer off on the side. So I wasn't even great at that. But at my core, I do love being a cheerleader, not just for an athlete, but for you, for parents. I want to cheer people on and help them know that they can do this. And that is my purpose here in Fully Nested, is to cheer parents on, to help them learn adjustments they can make to be the best parent they can possibly be. I am certain that good things are already happening in your home. But the purpose of this and these videos is to help you know of other things that, that can improve your interactions and ultimately strengthen the relationship with your children because that is what will last. So we can do th simple things, simple things to adjust our interactions. Um, one of the main things that we've already talked about is we can um, speak calmly. And even when your child shows up with behavior, you don't match that behavior. You don't add fuel to the fire. You choose to keep your calm no matter what the child is doing. And what's so incredible about that, when you choose to be calm, you are modeling appropriate behavior for them. So even though in the moment it may look and feel like it isn't right, you are modeling appropriate behavior so that later on in their life, they're gonna know how to react to situations when things don't go their way. They're gonna know and have it modeled for them how to be calm because you've done that as a parent. So we can adjust that and make sure that as a parent, we're not arguing with them. Remember, it takes two people to argue. So if your child shows up and wants to argue and has negative behavior, you don't have to match that. You don't have to participate in that. You don't have to add fuel to the fire. You can choose to keep your calm. The other thing we can do is simply adjust our language. Um, oftentimes you may have heard something like this or even said it yourself, and if you have, your typical, the phrase of, if you don't, then you won't. For example, if you don't eat your dinner, you won't get dessert. Or if you don't finish your homework, you don't get to hang out with friends. Okay, so these are if you don't, then you won't statements. What we can do as parents is simply adjust the language. And we can say, you're welcome to when. One thing to remember is to tell them what they want to hear first. You are welcome to have dessert when your dinner is finished. You are welcome to hang out with your friends when your homework is finished. So you're telling them what they want to hear first and then how to get it. And that's just a simple adjustment that you can make that can help things stay more positive. Okay, the other adjustment is you can remember their infinite worth. I know you're the big person and you are more wise, you're older, you have more experience, you were born before them, but you do not have more worth. As parents, as we can remember that, that this small child in front of us, or even this teenager who isn't so small, has just as much worth as you do. And so when you honor that and you respect that, it changes the way you interact with them. When you honor their worth, you're not yelling at them. You're not losing your cool as much, but you are honoring their worth and choosing to stay calm because you know it's worth it. It's worth it to invest in the relationship and to strengthen that relationship, relationship that will last forever. It is worth our time. It is worth our effort. I am here cheering you on. I know you can be the best possible, possible parent you can be, and you can just make small adjustments. Now back to the cheerleading days in high school. Um, after early morning practice, we would always stand in a circle and we'd cross our arms and hold hands. And we would always say this quote together. 
Don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Don't walk behind me, I may not lead. Just walk beside me and be my friend. For years and years, I said that quote with a group of friends, which was appropriate for that scenario. But actually, that quote doesn't match and fit for parenting. We're not just walking beside them to be their friends. Instead, we are their parents and we're meant to lead. We're meant to lead out and teach and to guide. We aren't meant to just be their friends. At the end of the day, there is a friendship if there is a good relationship, but the friendship isn't the only thing we're meant to do as parents. We are meant to lead. And we can do that by making small adjust adjustments, honoring their worth, and showing up for them in multiple ways throughout the day by choosing to stay calm, look for the good, and praise it. There are multiple ways we can show up. And I wanna be your cheerleader now. It's time for me to move into this role and cheer parents on as they're doing this important work and honoring their child's worth and strengthening the relationship.